Well, here we are. I'm all kitted out yet again. Mick has very kindly donated his uh, bike because he thinks I'm up for a 500cc championship today, which is very good of him. He must be mad. The guy in the red is experienced, is an ex-professional, but he hasn't ridden for years. The other two are right at your level, first time dominance. Right, OK. So remember what I said, look for the dry line. It's not a good track today, but we've got to take what we got. Yep. Look for the dry line, it's up to you. Don't get in over your head. You're intelligent enough to know exactly what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you the terror and the fear that's inside here at the moment, which I'm sure will be over in a matter of minutes, but at this particular moment, it's enormous. After the first lap and my pre-race anxiety subsided, I settled down into a rhythm. Although still very aware of mixed training, I now had the additional aspects of racing to contend with. Taking part gave me a real sense of what the attraction is of Speedway. Once you reach a certain level with the ability to broadside a machine into corners at speed, it must be such a buzz. Although I didn't achieve any power slides, which is the key to Speedway, I did stay upright and I held on to second place. What an experience! Oh my goodness! That was incredible! I was trying to remember everything that Nick had told me. Some of it went, some of it didn't. But my god, that was fantastic! Get out and do it again! What an experience! Absolutely amazing. It's amazing how the, the fear, the fear that you have initially, it, it, you need it to keep yourself going. And God, was I frightened. I sat there, Mick was trying to give me all this information, but I was frightened, I have to tell you. Watching the riders that afternoon, I realised how skilled they are. It's almost majestic how the bikes glide around the corners. Remembering the races are only four laps, the start is absolutely crucial. If you're not first out of the gate, it can be all over. It's then a real struggle for traction to make a passing move. Unfortunately, the weather brought a close to proceedings, which denied me a second outing. But it did give me an opportunity to talk to some of the riders. Rick, what makes a good all-round speedway rider? You've got to be fit, fearless, plus if you know how the bike's working, you can ride it better. Any tricks to speedway any right, to yeah. get past everybody? Yeah, if you want to get past somebody, say they're riding a tight line, where it's, um, the track's a bit, little bit like concrete, and on the outside, there's a, it's a bit deeper where there's loads of dirt. If you go in the dirt, you'll get more drive, which gives you more speed to overtake. Which then brings you out the corners a lot faster. Yes. Obviously, if somebody else is in front of you and they're in the middle of the track, and you go round the outside into the deep, you'll get more drive, more speed, and hopefully you should shoot past them. What kind of made you start Speedway? Because it's just um, the only reason I ask is because it's very male-dominated yeah. sort of sport. I am... Um... Went to start watching down at Paul Speedway in about 1989 and then nagged my parents for a bike there and then. And um, they actually got me a little 125 bike then and I did start going down to Eastbourne when I was about 13. As far as the riding is concerned, it's a challenge. Right. And it's so difficult to actually learn to slide a bike that when you actually do finally do it, it's such a thrill. And then, and then you just want to keep progressing and you want to get faster and you want to get better. You've been out today, and how do you feel? Have you got, have you got that same right, adrenaline feeling? or? I, I feel about 16. Do you? Yeah. And is, is that kind of what the sport does? I feel does at the you? moment I do, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a um, good adrenaline trip, really, Speedway. Um, it's the sort of thing that I think, once you've been involved in, you never really get, get out of it. You never get out of your blood. 
I, I, I found a real camaraderie between people. Is that, oh, yeah. is that part of it as well? Sort of oh, thing? yeah, with, with the riders and, and most of it. I mean, most of them on the track will put you to the fence. Right. And, and then they'll come and help you fix your bike afterwards. You know, that, that's the sort of thing that that's the sort of lads are like. You know. I think once you've done it, once you start, once you have a go, once it frightens you, really, because if you like being frightened, which a lot of people do, because I guess lives up aren't so exciting anymore. That's why people jump off roofs with parachutes. That's why they do whatever the sport is. That's what. You know. Do you still have that fear when you go out Absolutely, there? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm still frightened. And that's what that's what really does it for you. Is it that fear? But yeah. So there you have it. Speedway. Noisy, exciting, very graceful when it's done properly. All I have to do now is thank Mick Coombs for his expert tuition in getting me to broadside a bike, which I'm sure is going to help me with my road riding. I suppose I better go and clean it for him now. Yeah?